Welcome to the Long Mirror Show. I'm Ah, Mears. 4 0 last week. You did. Could have made some money on that. Dude, you are hit or miss. I am hit or miss. Two 4 0 weeks already. That's the early going. I don't think we've ever had two 4 0 weeks by one, one of us. No, and I did it uh, two out of three weeks. That's incredible. I got a haircut, though, so. Yeah, make your face look thinner. Nice. As always, we're going to do four games. First one we're going to do Detroit traveling to Cleveland. Somehow, after no one to start, Cleveland has made it in the top four games of the week for us. Cleveland. Underdogs at home by two and a half to Detroit. And the reason why, because of their quarterback, Brian Hoyer, out of the season. It's a shame because he came back in and sparked this team after trading Richardson. They've looked actually really good, and their defense is playing phenomenal. They're a top ten defense, both in points against and yards against. So I think they have a chance in this game, but I think Detroit's just going to be better. Calvin Johnson should be back this week. They are 1-4 without Calvin Johnson, but I like him to come back this week. I like the Lions to win, and I'll take the cover of two and a half. The Lions are definitely a different offense without Calvin Johnson. Yes. That was a futile effort they had last week. It was not good. Uh, I got the Lions in this one, too. Um, I don't think Brandon Whedon is a good quarterback. Um, I don't know if Hoyer was any good. We'll find out if it was the Richardson trade that prompted the good play or if it was Hoyer coming in. I think it's going to be the latter, and uh, I, I think you're going to see a difference. I got the Lions covering two and a half. Nice. Second game we're going to do the game of the week. Undefeated New Orleans traveling to the 4-1 and one Patriots. Patriots. Favored by two and a half at home. Yeah, come off. They really laid an egg last week. They didn't score a touchdown. They didn't score a touchdown. Brady's streak is stopped two before the record. Of consecutive games with the touchdown. Pace. Exactly. Uh, but he does have an 85% win percentage at home. But the Patriots' defense isn't that stout. They're giving up 345 yards per game. And the Saints are just scoring on everybody. I mean, Drew Brees is Drew Brees. He looks spectacular. This offense is good. I think the Saints go in and punch Patriots in the face, knock them down to four and two, and possibly put the put the uh, division, the AFC East, in jeopardy for them. I don't think the Patriots are good. I think they had a soft schedule in the beginning. You saw last week they don't have the offensive weapons. Gronkowski didn't go on the pup list because that would have had him out for the first six weeks. They're saying he's coming back this week, week six. We'll see. He might get injured right away. I don't think he's a difference maker with these tools that they have right now. Not much of a running game. Saints are just going up and down the field on anybody. Uh, they're the NFC Denver Broncos. Um, two and a half, I think the Saints went out right, so I got the Saints. Nice. Third game we're going to do another surprising team to make the top four. Tennessee at three and two. Traveling to Seattle, who's four and one. I didn't see this line before I suggested doing this. I don't like these kind of lines. Seattle favored by 13 and a half at home. Coming off their first loss of the season to the Colts, which we both called. Very impressed with that call yeah. last week. A lot of people said well, they weren't. Yeah, yeah. Titans, they lost Jake Locker. They came out with Fitzpatrick this last week, and they lost to the Chiefs. Chiefs are still undefeated, so that's not a bad loss. But And Fitzpatrick sh showed some grit. But I just think there's no way they're going to beat the Seahawks at home and in the Seahawks stadium. They haven't lost since December 2011. 13 and a half is too many points, however. I, never, I would never give that many points in a game. So I will take the Titans with the points, but Seattle obviously wins the game. I happen to have Chris Johnson on my fantasy team. And I, based on that, I'm pretty sure Tennessee doesn't have that good a running game. <laughs> um, Seahawks defense kind of kind of a little loose last week against Indianapolis, but Indianapolis is good. Um, I wouldn't touch a 13 and a half point spread if I was a gambler. Um, I got to take the Titans with the points um, just because it's too much for the NFL. Yeah, I agree. Final game of the week. Once again, too big a point spread. But the surprising Arizona Cardinals, 3-2, and two, are traveling to a 3-2 and two's 49ers. I would not have picked them. Oh, wait, I did pick them to have a better record than the 49ers. But 49ers favored by 11 at home. So we have a 13 and a half line and an 11 line. You add those two together, it's still not as many points as what Denver's giving Jacksonville. That's why we didn't do that game. It's crazy. Cardinals, 3-2. and two. Not bad. But here's my problem. Carson Palmer's thrown five touchdowns, but nine interceptions. 49ers have the fourth best pass defense in the league. There's no way that they, he doesn't throw another couple interceptions this week. 49ers have gotten back to what they did well in the last two games, a two-game win streak. They've been started running the ball. Kaepernick's running. Gore's running. I think they continue to pound the Cardinals in this game. I think it's a blowout, so I will actually give the 11, and I'll take the Niners. I'm not giving the 11 because Kaepernick's in a sophomore slump. Um, his passing totals it's are not terrible. Good. It's not good. Uh, Cardinals' defense isn't terrible. Um, so it's, it might be a battle of defenses. An 11-point spread, that's a lot for one of those type games. I'm going to go with the Cardinals, but... 
My suggestion is take our first two games, parlay those, and parlay, 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 yeah. parlay, parlay those, and don't touch the last two games, and we won't do spreads like this again. <laughs>